Michelle here and I'm back to share some yarn goodness with you all today. All right, let's just get straight into it. Now, today I am going to be going over all the things that I crocheted in 2022 and I paused because when I counted how many crochet pieces I had from last year, I counted 22 and there is no way I'm gonna do a video that long. So I am going to break it up between parts one and parts two. So yes, um, as I stated, these are not in chronological order. So yeah. All right, so the first one we have is the Raspberry Beret by Little John Knits. No, it is Little John Knits. I don't know why I wanted to say Little John Yarns. It could be that. But anyway, this lovely beret is one of many that I have because I just adore this pattern so much. And uh, I had some scrap yarn left. This was given to me, I think. It's mainstays in the colorway yellow. I'm pretty sure it's mainstays. But anyway, here it is. It is lovely. Yes. I just enjoy wearing that. All right, moving on. Oh, I don't have this one. It is the Corner to Corner Blanket by Jada and Stitches. And so the yarn that I use for that blanket is Karen, Karen Jumbo One Pound. That sounds like two different types of, of uh, two, type, two different types of yarn. It is the Karen Jumbo in the Rosewood colorway is what I used. And that was 100% acrylic. I don't have that anymore because I gave it away, but the person is enjoying it thoroughly. So yes, I loved it, loved making it. It's nothing like a good corner to corner blanket. Okay. Moving on, we have the Just Feel Festive Shawl by the lovely Kalisha Ryan. Here it is in all its glory. And so I wanted to go for like a two-tone color look. Um, and so I used Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn in white and in black. And it was wonderful. I am about to knock stuff over. Lord. Okay. <laughs> anyway, this was some lovely yarn um, that I had in my stash and I was like, I need to use this yarn up. What am I going to use it for? And then the way she did this uh, shawl was she used mini skeins. And I was like, wait a minute now, I could do like a really cool two-tone effect because I think I had like one random skein of white and one random skein of the, um, it's called... I love this yarn. Yes, I have like two random skeins of it. And I was like, this is perfect. And this is what I'm gonna use it for. And I I just absolutely love it. It goes with a ton of outfits. Yes, yes, it's wonderful. All right, moving on. We have another gift that I made, so I don't have it with me, but it is the Top Stitch Toque say that 10 times, the Top Stitch Toque and Cowl set. And this was a gift uh, for a lovely, lovely family member of mine. And the yarn that I used for it was Big Twist. Yeah, Big Twist, which is 100% acrylic. And I used the Corn Flower Blue colorway. And so the person that I made it for is a huge UNC, uh, University of North Carolina, Go Tar Heels fan. And yes, she loved it. And uh, I even put a little pom-pom on the back of the hat. So yeah, that's definitely totally her vibe. Okay. So I have notes, of course, because I'm trying to be organized. All right, so the next one we have is the Solanel shawl. This shawl is so wonderful. And there's a bit of a backstory with this one. So let me put it on because I just love it. Oh, what am I wearing? Uh, this is the Westerly slouchy hat and it was designed by me. The pattern is free on Ravelry and there's also a tutorial on my channel for this hat. Um, I just used two different colorways. It was a great stash buster product uh, project and I figured it would go with my green cardigan. So yeah, I do believe this is a camo color. I forget who it's from. 
It may have been with love. Not sure. Anyway, I made it eons ago. All right, back to the solo now. So this is the solo nail shawl. I love it. I love the Pico design. It is beautiful. And the yarn that I used for this is uh, the Knitology Sheen um, by the former Knit Crate. And it is a fingering weight yarn and it is 75% merino, 15% silk and 10% cashmere. Y'all, if you really want to treat yourself, crochet with some silk and cashmere, okay? It is luxurious. There is a very slight halo that I've noticed um, just through use and because this shawl sat in a like a forgotten project bag forever. I don't know. I'm not one to like lose track of my whips, but I think the problem was is the pattern required like fingering weight yarn and a really small hook size. And uh, at the time I was just not feeling it as I am more of a worsted weight person. But anyway, I picked this back up and I finished it and I'm so happy that I did. I mean, it is beautiful. It's got those really short color changes, which is perfect for crochet. Beautiful. Yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite shawls and it is lovely. All right, moving on. We have the, well, another Raspberry Beret by Little John Knits. Okay, so this hat um, I have a love-hate relationship with and it has nothing to do with the pattern because let me tell y'all, I've made a ton of these berets and I will continue. The problem is... For whatever reason, I am allergic to Red Heart Super Saver yarn, which is a shame because there's so many colors that you can use. And this is another random skein of yarn that I had. And I was like, I need to use this. What am I going to do with it? Now, if I wear this on my head, I don't have any problems. But for whatever reason, on my, um, on my hands, it irritates my skin. I don't know. So I'm kind of holding it very gingerly. Um, I already have the Benadryl ready. It's totally fine. But yeah, I don't know. It's just, I can use other, other acrylic yarns, Big Twist, Karen Jumbo, One Pound, uh, whatever else is out there. I can use it. But for whatever reason, I don't know if they have started like, um, putting a different chemical or maybe rinsing in something different. I don't know. It's a shame because I love this hat. I love the color of it. It has a slight halo to it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find another burgundy yarn to make this hat with because I just simply adore it. Yes, indeed. So I'm gonna put that over there. And uh, yes, now, one thing that I am going to do, because I don't want to give up on that hat, what I'm going to do is I am going to soak that hat for a few hours or maybe either like overnight. And um, I'm probably, I'm not sure if I should soak it in water or soak it in one of the, um, like the, it's a wool wash, but I'm sure it'll be fine for acrylic. Uh, acrylic. Um, I don't know if you all have any suggestions like maybe you've had itchy or scratchy yarn. Um, let me know what you do to kind of get rid of that itch factor. Do you wash it? If you do wash it, what do you wash it with? I would love to know because I'm not ready to give up on that hat yet, y'all. I really am not. Okay, so the next one I have, super exciting, was my first ever crochet skirt. So I've made crochet... Um, crochet like um, dresses before, but never a skirt. And so the only issue I have, oh, I'm not saying who this is by. So the, um, the Solanelle is by Kendall Timco. And yeah, I think that's the only one I forgot. All right, so this skirt is the plus size shell skirt and it is by Abigail Hayes. And so this is a lovely, lovely skirt. I love the fit. The only thing is it is made with a number four worsted weight yarn. And so therefore, 
when I'm wearing it, I have to cinch it really, really tight because the weight of the skirt wants to fall off of my hips. And so I have begun putting in an elastic um, waistband. The only problem is I did not have a brown yarn to, um, to finish it. I ended up using a black yarn, but I'm not sure how crazy I am about it. But as you can see, I have put in the elastic band. So I hope to finish that soon. Um, right now it is turned inside out because I was working on the waistband. But here it is. It is beautiful. And I have the colors that I use for it. So I used, I love this yarn. It's uh, acrylic worsted weight. And the first color is toasted almond. The second color is coffee. The third color is brown. And this fourth color is ivory. So I just love the color fade here. It's a bit of an ombre effect going on. And yeah, I love it. All right. Let's see, what else do we have? We are flying through, y'all. Okay, so the next one I have is my Empower People Cowl. And this is by Laverne Benton. And so I just love the construction. It's so unique. Like, look at that. Very unique construction. It's really cool. And so, yeah, it's wonderful. Love the color. Ooh, I even like it with this outfit. Oh, I like that. This is cute. Okay, I can work with this. Um, yeah, so the yarn that I used for this was Euro.yarn. Uh, by the former Knit Crate. <laughs> I, I know that we're all, we all know that that company's gone now. But the reason why I say that is because if you all go looking for this same yarn and you don't find it, that will be why, because it's discontinued. Um, it's a DK weight and it is 85% merino wool and 15% silk. Like I said before, treat yourself and crochet with some silk yarn. Oh my goodness, it is wonderful. It has a slight sheen to it, not too shiny. I don't really like shiny yarn, but this has a lovely sheen to it. And the name, the colorway name is called Beauty Berry. I think that is just so on point with this yarn. And you all know I love purple, right? So yeah, it is beautiful. All right, moving on. We have a rug. <laughs> I made a rug. Here it is. It's huge. I don't think it's gonna fit in frame, but here's my rug. So I made it and then um, I realized that I had a whole nother skein. And so I actually added on to this rug to make it even bigger. And this will be a gift as soon as I see the person I'm gonna give it to them and they're gonna be so excited because their favorite color is pink. And uh, basically I held two strands of uh, worsted weight double and I used the Karen Jumbo in the colorway Rosewood. So the same color, uh, the same yarn that I use for my blanket is the same one that I use for this rug. It is so sturdy, but it's still very soft. And since this is going to be going on someone's floor, I was trying to think like, do I want to put some sort of backing on it? Like some sort of rug backing, but I don't even know how to do that. So if you all have any suggestions on maybe like some sort of slip resistant material I could put on the back, um, whether I can Velcro it to the back or sew it to the back, let me know. I have no experience uh, doing that, but yeah. It's a circle, a lovely circle rug. All right, moving along. We have the Dream Spice Shawl. And this is by Tanya Ehert. 
And the rug was by Sonia of K and J Dolls. I hope I'm saying her name right. It's either Saja or Saja of K and J Dolls. And of course, I will put links to all of these patterns in the uh, description box below. Anyway, this is the Dream Spice. And I use my own hand-dyed yarn, uh, Queen's Yarn Boutique. And this is a fingering weight. It is on my Pop Life fingering base. I have not dyed this colorway in forever, um, but it is beautiful and I love it. It's amazing. It does fit a little bit differently than this, but my head or my, my hair and this uh, big beret that I'm wearing, a uh, slouchy hat rather, is kind of covering it up in the back. But anyway, here it is. It's beautiful. It's stunning. I love it. All right. Last, but certainly not least, um, I've been really wanting to get into garments more. And so that is something that I want to continue to do on into the new year. And so what we have here is the Quartz Pullover by Alexandra Towel, aka Two of Wands. Yes, y'all, she does make crochet patterns as well. Yes, I know she also does knit patterns and she's done a uh, yarn line, like she's just doing it all, but she does have crochet patterns. And so this is made using Lion's Brand Mandala, which is a DK weight and it is 100% acrylic. And the colorway that I use is Thinks and it is beautiful. My favorite part of uh, this top has to be the sleeves. Look at that. Feel like a butterfly. Look at these sleeves. Love it. Yes. All right, and I wear this a lot. I've got quite a bit to clean up later. <laughs> But anyway, so I have links in the description box below to all my favorite crochet tools and also check out my community tab. I ask a lot of fun questions there and I just love reading you all's responses. It's so much fun and uh, I should have some new questions coming up. So check out and look out for that. Also, if you want to support my channel, I will leave the Ko-Fi link below. Thank you so much for watching. And to continue watching more videos, you can simply just click on one of the videos on the end screen. So until next time, bye. Hey girl, how you doing? My name is Charlie, last name Wilson. And I was wondering if I could take you out, show you a good time, invite you to my house. Here is my number. Girl, you can call me. And don't forget, babe, my name is Charlie.